Hey guys, Greg and Stacy here with Keizu Keto. Today we're doing a product review of the Sonano Infrared Burner. Yes. Is that correct? Did I say that right? Sonano, I think so. We think that's how you say it. So full disclosure here guys, the company sent us this to do a review on it, see what we thought. So we thought we'd share it with you guys as well. Okay, so we're going to put this thing through its paces. We're going to cook a couple different things on it. One of these things that we're going to cook is going to be some donut, a donut recipe that Stacy found on the internet. So we're going to do some fried donuts in it. Keto. Keto donuts. Yes, mm -hmm. of course. Other than keto. So some keto donuts. We're also going to make uh, some breakfast. Um, and we've been using it for a few days here just for odds and ends. We also have an induction burner. Um, that we've been using. We use that a lot for our cookbook Keo stuff. So we're going to kind of compare it a little bit against that and maybe help you guys make a decision as to which kind of one of, the, which one of these burners you guys should get if you're in the market for one. One of the first things you'll notice is the size of this thing. It is actually very small and very lightweight. Yeah, it's like... Could... Don't throw it! Yes, and luckily it has grips on the bottom that Stacy just <laughs> used there to hold on to it. It does have a vent on the bottom too, but I don't hear a fan, so it's... It's not super noisy. No, I don't see a fan in there. It's super small, um, especially in comparison to our uh, duck's top. Um, here's a side-by-side -side comparison of those. Mm -hmm. The see, heating surface is basically the same size. So, a lot smaller, but the same size. It also comes with these heat-resistant handles. You'll see the handles are attached to the bottom. The bottom does not get hot. The part that gets hot, obviously, is this. And then this part heats up as well. And these handles do not touch the metal, the silver metal. <clears throat> at all. So I think that's what keeps them yeah. from getting hot. And one of the other really cool things about this is that you can use whatever cookware you want. You don't have to have a metal bottom pan like we do with the induction cookers. We went out and bought a whole bunch of copper stuff so that we could use it with um, our induction cooker. Mm -hmm. Well, you can use the old stuff you have. In fact, we have an old wok that we use to fry these donuts in and uh, it worked out perfect. You can also use glass on this. Yeah, you actually can use glass on it. Actually, there's an entire listing of on here as to what you can use. We'll throw a picture of that up. Um, but everything from non-stick pans to stainless steel, cast iron is still good, uh, even glass cookware, ceramic, ceramic, yep, and aluminum pots. So all that stuff on here, and it comes with a two-year warranty. One of the other things, great things is with its size is if you're going on a road trip, if you're camping, this is perfect to take with you, especially if you're keto and you're cooking your own meals. It's so tiny. And it comes with some pretty good features too. So for example, it has six uh, temperatures and it also has a warming mode. It also indicates what temperature is based on the light. So when you set it to a specific temperature, say four or five, and then it gets to that desired temperature, the light will actually kick off. Which is really great for frying. So the top is made out of stainless steel. Uh, this is like a ceramic. And then you actually see the burner kick on when it actually turns on. They do come in a double as well. So if you want two burners, you can actually get two burners as well. One of the things we like about it the most though is that it's very quiet. It doesn't make any noise. So I kind of like the fact that it's quiet because when you're cooking on the induction burner, it's so loud you have to raise your voice to be heard if you're talking to someone when you're cooking. So last thoughts. So it does come with its own cleaning cloth. You'll probably need for the stainless steel. Using it for a few operations, you can already see that there's a little bit of stuff kind of building up on the side, but obviously you don't want to submerge it in water or anything. For the price point, I think that this retails for right around... Right around 50. Right around $50. Mm -hmm. um, and I think the double one was what, what, 80? I think so. Yeah. So Navo was kind enough to provide us and our viewers a discount code which uh, we'll have linked down in the description. This is a product we definitely highly recommend. It's probably gonna replace our other one, in all honesty. Uh, even though we've replaced all our pots and pans with the copper tub stuff and the uh, other stuff, the size, the size of it is definitely something that's helpful. Mm -hmm. So that is our review of the Sanavo. And if you like this video, by all means, please give it a like. And if you're not a subscriber, please consider doing so. Love to have you along our journey. And until next time. Stay keto. See you guys.